What up, YouTube? There you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to talking to a camera. Um, my name is Marvin, and um, today I am doing a video all about Floyd Rose. You know, the fantastic, kind of, you know, whatever. You guys know what a Floyd Rose is. So, anywho, just to skip to the point, what am I doing? Today, uh, I am going to attempt to upgrade the block on my Floyd Rose equipped Ibanez. Now, if anyone doesn't know what that is, I'm assuming you know because you're here, but what that is is basically when you have a tremolo, like, guitar, uh, there's so many pieces to it. And one of the main things that you need to uh, pay attention to is um, under the, like, what you actually see on the bridge, where the springs clamp on, there's a block. The block pretty much looks just like this. So this is the exact one I'm going to be using. It's a, uh, a brass block I got on Reverb for, like, I think like 30 bucks or something it's pretty cheap and what you do is um you take out the old block which i believe is made from not aluminum but some some kind of like metal whatever and this is supposed to give you more sustain a uh, different kind of tone uh you know it's just different this the main reason i actually wanted to get this is because so i have let me just grab the guitar i have this ibanez RG5 EX1, gorgeous guitar, you know, uh, kind of, I built it up with like parts I just bought from the internet because I like customizing stuff. Um, I wanted this kind of like body, but you know, I was actually supposed to get a black body, but I got a gray one and I kind of liked it because at first I was like, oh, f you know, it's a, it's a gray body. I should return it, but I liked how it looked. It's like this really mean metallic gray with like. Like, I don't know, it just looks really good. It's like a satin finish. So you see I bought a black neck. And I wanted this originally so I could put I didn't I don't really like the edge uh what is it, the edge three that Ibanez ships these with. So I did some research and they said that you can put an original edge or Floyd Rose and that it would fit. So it fits, you know, I got an original Floyd Rose. I bought it, I forgot how much I paid for it, but it fits perfectly fine, you know. It works. The only thing that I could say is that I'm in. I'm tuned to drop C. You see, these uh, don't allow me to go all the way up, but it's enough that I can get away with it. The only thing with this, though, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because um, in the back, the uh, block sticks out a lot. I probably should have taken this back plate off so you can see it, but you'll see when I dismantle it anyway. So the back plate sticks up a lot, and the springs themselves are like really high in terms of like their placement. I don't know if that makes sense. So I mainly got the block because it's a shorter block than what I have. I don't remember which one the Floyd ships with. I can um, I'll obviously put it in the information when I go in and take it out and blah, blah, blah. But then I figured if I'm gonna get a block that's shorter just to make it a little better in terms of like how the springs are inside because sometimes they, uh, I feel like they contact this like plastic plate and I just didn't like how it looked. Don't mind me, I'm very superficial like that. So I was like, you know, whatever. You know, if I'm gonna upgrade it, might as well get a good quality one. So I got, you know, Floyd Rose, I guess, official one, whatever. It's a size 32. So if anyone's looking to do this to an Ibanez that has a, um, an, like an Edge 3 and they wanna upgrade it. So the Floyd will fit. There's a little bit of like, a little bit of a mark here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the side of the Floyd kind of carved itself into it. I didn't really care because you're not really going to see it unless you see it. So I guess in that little corner, it doesn't really fit. But you could easily just like gouge it out if you want. I'm going to take my drill and do that, so don't mind me. But um, for those that don't want to do it, you can always go to your local luthier. Or just buy a different guitar made for a different bridge. You know, but I like doing mods. I like stuff like this. So I'm going to see exactly, I'm doing this video so we can see exactly what this block does. Um, I've been reading online that it's supposed to increase sustain and that usually from the stock block to the, um, to the brass one, apparently it makes it a little warmer sounding. So I'm going to see how that works. Um, see how it turns out. If it really matters to people, um, this guitar is made of mahogany. 
So you know, I don't really know much about tone woods, but I love how this sounds. It's a mahogany body, three piece maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, blah, blah, blah. Um, it has Fishman pickups. These are the Stephen Carpenter pickups, the six string uh, limited ones. So this should be pretty transparent. They're not, you know, they're pretty clear. So whatever your guitar sounds like, I know it's an active pickup, but it really does let your guitar speak. It's kind of weird to explain, but whatever, you'll figure it out. This isn't a pickup, it's just a plastic thing. I just put it there because, you know, because why not? So I'm going to do a sound test first before I start dismantling it. Okay, so uh, just uh, for information, uh, I'm going direct from my guitar straight into my Scarlet 2i2, going right into Logic Pro X. Uh, so I'm only going to do two main sounds. I only use two main sounds anyway when I'm playing guitar. Clean and like fully driven. So if anyone really wants to go into like, you know, what I'm using, it's a cool jazz combo for the clean. I just messed around with the EQ to my personal taste. Uh, for the dirty, I'm using a brown tone metal with an overdrive as a boost. Typical uh, gain low, volume high, tone to taste, you know. So, yeah, please enjoy. I mean, it's just the test, but it's just so you guys have an idea. Uh, when I'm doing this whole thing, I'm going to keep the exact same strings on. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to keep the same string, so that way it tries to like eliminate that, eliminate that as, a, uh, as a factor. So I will see you guys in a couple hours, however long this takes me. Uh, I'm going to start the dismantling right now. Okay, so I'm back. I got it in, put the block in. I have the other one. I put it in the packaging actually, the silver one, the 37, as you can see. Uh, things that I notice, definitely more, um, more like bass and mid, if you want to say. It's not as like bright sounding. It's a lot darker sounding. Um, in terms of um, sustain. I think it's about the same. I don't really notice much in sustain, but definitely a big notice in tone and like the feel, like the way that it responds to you playing. It's a, it's a little different, you know, would I warrant the upgrade? Mm, depends. I think that, um, if you had like a Floyd style guitar that came with a really bad block, you definitely should do it because there is a difference. Uh, but if you already have a really good block, I don't see a reason that you should upgrade. I mean, the 
the main thing, like I said, I wanted to do for this block was to, like, uh, the other one's a little longer, you know, being 37, this one's a 32. So, in the cavity, it actually fits better. I actually get a lot more of a downward motion. Like, it goes all, it goes way more. Like, the block is actually getting blocked by the inside of the cavity. I mean, this guitar is not designed for a Floyd Rose, so, you know, it's whatever, but... Just for that, I'm happy. Other than that, I mean, it definitely weighs more. My guitar is just a hair heavier, like noticeably heavier, but not like, you know, anything that would deter me from it. So I guess with more mass, there's going to be more sustain. Maybe I'm just not noticing, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. <laughs>
I'm hoping this was helpful in some way. It was really easy to do the mod. Uh, you shouldn't really need instructions. You just take apart the Floyd Rose. Uh, I mean, if you're a complete, complete 100% beginner, like you've never even like strung your Floyd Rose, I definitely would have someone install it. But if you know how to do intonation, if you know how to set it up, it's literally just take everything out. Just make sure you keep everything, you know, organized so you don't mix up pieces, you don't lose pieces because it's very small parts that you could lose and you gotta go and shell out more money, which you don't want to do that. Anywho, um, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.